uh, right here. And this is from Sleepy Snow Access. So, um, this was a trade, and the uh, box over there was a purchase. So, uh, this one is um, a cool unknown Shikishi board. I think that's what it was. Um, but anyway, I do quite like the unknown Pokemon. Yeah, that's that's that. I'm gonna do the She had this for, for well, for sell or for trade, so. And this one was a, a trade. I still need to actually buy the Switch, but I thought I got the case now. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll be, uh, definitely going to get the, uh, the actual console in, in a while. <laughs> It'll be a while. So that's that. So that's that stuff. I'll put it off the side. So this. I'll just put that flap over there because that's got my address on it. So as far as I know, I just bought a couple things. But if I look the box, she might have actually put in some. Ooh, she put in some extra stuff. So first of all, thank you. That's really kind of you. I'm pretty sure you put in extra stuff anyway. Um, this is a very creepy looking thing. I have no idea what this is. Uh, it then. <laughs> Um It's uh it comes off. Over here obviously, um Well, I guess, I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be, at all. <laughs> His hair comes off very easily. For some reason it feels like it's supposed to be an eraser or something. Well there, maybe if I didn't push it in and out. It's got like a, I don't know, a Canadian thing going on. I have no idea what it is. I mean, is it an eraser? Oh, I have to ask. It feels like one. And the head is... Oh, it stands. I was going to say the head is a bit top heavy. Anyway. What else is that? And we got some damage counters from the GX store. Okay. And we have another one. This one obviously is Buzz Lightyear. Interesting. Um, Well, this is just very thick something or other. I feel like erasers. But anyway. I 
you. Buzz. It's funny, he's got a little swirl on his chair. As normal. But anyway, yes, so that's... <coughs> no, the other one. The head is, the hair is basically most of it. Um, okay, so that's this. Um, I got some brown. Brown dice. And this is like a really cool black and red. And a red and white. Glittery dice. There, that's cool. I like that one. That's cool. I don't like the black and red dice. They look cool anyway. Um, then more damage counters. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, this I did buy from her, I think. It's the more Peko, the hangry one. Okay. So that's that. And what's this? Oh, that's cute. I don't know what it is. Uh, Pokemon Band Fest. Pokemon Center. That's what it says on the back. That's cute. It's got a... Is that a Slurpuff? I don't know. A Venolite. And a... It starts with an A. And what was it? Audino? Maybe? I'm guessing it's like the fairy team? Or something? And that's in the shape of a guitar pick or something. That's cute. Interesting. Okay, and I did buy this one. It's the Generations I think. Uh, reverse metal energy card. There we go. So that's that. Um Next up, we have um, this thing. Whatever it is. Oh, I might be a Silveron phone strap. That's cute. Cute little Silveron there. That's cool. I'm not sure what that is. That's really on. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, okay, so this is another thing I bought. I don't know. <clears throat> if you might can tell, I'm doing my sound bag right now. Mess my desk. We're just gonna both pull on the desk. Alright, um, let's see. Can I do this one handed? Good question. Ooh. Yes. <coughs> awesome. This is I know what it is because she said she got both like the same like she had four boxes and she had two or all two well she had the same pairs shall we say <laughs> and this one is is taped up.
as you see from the disconnected head. Here it is. Yuki. That one. Because I have this one from a subscription box. But I never actually have this character. Nor did I have any of the other characters to cast, but this is the one that she was selling. So, I shall... There we go. I put the, uh... The head matching the picture on the box, because I wasn't sure which way it was supposed to go. <laughs> She doesn't, like other ones, they have, she doesn't have a hole in the back of her head, she just, you know, just lay and sit there floating, hanging on there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut up the box from my scrapbook, at least the back of it anyway. <clears throat> and this was a uh, Kuji C Prize thing. Originally, then presto. Yeah. So, anyway, so moving on. Mm. Got some here. I spy Pongo. Um, what coins did she put in here? I wonder. Oh. First coin is? Ooh, it's a... a lichen rock. Those one. I like when they're glittery. <clears throat> Next is Ooh, a shiny Namathy. And oh, we got a gold shiny like rock. And this one's more of like a midday like a rock, this one. And the other one was like the, the midnight one. Okay, so. Oh, I just randomly. Hold some cards from the back of it. So we got some. Yeah, we got a Pongo and a Cruella de Vil. Interesting. Ruthless and cunning, leading fashion designer Cruella de Vil commands everyone in her studio to the house of de Vil. Pongo's transition from bachelorhood to fatherhood is seamless, but only because he has dedicated has a dedicated Dalmatian like Purdy by his side. As soon as their puppies are kidnapped, Pongo sounds the twilight walk alerting the countryside. Pongo and Purdy are on the case without a moment to lose. Soon to be reunited with their pups, a few and a few more to boot. Huh. And she put in this cool Digimon card. Terramon Assistant. It's got some gold foiling on it too. That's cool. You know, just for the art, I might want to collect them too. <laughs> I would have no idea how to play it, but they're my favorite Digimon or um, Angemon and Angemon. Those were the two top favorite ones. 
Huh, got some more. Um, the Card Hunting Guardians. Babe Hound. <laughs> that looks funny. <clears throat> it is German. I think. Elk, Fessen, Van Joe, Dad Effect, Taken in, Taken Standard, D Can, Verden, Om, Omge, Koft, Door, Babs, don't know what that thing is, and uh, plus four, Craft. Yeah, that, that's my extent of how to pronounce those. Okay. What else are we gonna butcher here? Um, oh, we got a... I have no clue what that is. <laughs> it's an expansion pack thing? I don't know. It's got some code on the back. Not sure what it's for. It's uh, for... Uh, sword and Shield for Switch. No idea what it's actually for, though. But that's still cool. Uh, what else is in this little pack? Oh, we got another expansion thing. This has got this weird... weird thing on it. I'm so not caught up, so I have no idea what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, that's... that's pretty cool. I mean, it's got a huge thing on its head, but yeah. Uh, next up. Oh, we got another one of them. I think the exact same thing. Exact same card, I think. But let's see. Oh, the codes on the back are different, but it's the same artwork on the on the front. Ooh, we have a played. I guess that would be the correct term for the... For the condition? Not that I mind, I mainly care about just the front of it. Anyways, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick. Ooh. Uh, what's next? We've got a hollow... What is this? Scrafty! I can't tell what set it's from because, like, you know, I'm behind the times here. That's cool. Now, what other cards in here? Ooh, we got a Nala. Drinking. I think she's supposed to be drinking. Nice, yes, that's cool. The Lion King one. Okay, then we got. Couple more Lion King. <laughs> we got Zazu on the back of the hippo. Just crash landed. It's, it's shiny too, that's cool. This excitable bird is proud to serve King Mufasa. And the rest is other languages. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Funny moment to capture. Oh, then we got this one, which is Nala. That's shiny too. So what does this one say? This courageous young lioness is Simba's best friend. Hmm. Neat. Hmm. And then we got the, uh... Thank you and enjoy. So I'll add, I'll add these to my, uh, like, miscellaneous section of my uh, trading card, well, in one of my trading card folders. So, that's cool. And let's see. Um, there's, uh, something on the bottom of the box. I can briefly see. Eevee Illusions, but I have no idea what it is. Maybe the idea might be. Anyway. <coughs> um. Oh, this is 
corner was. This is the lovely. Uh, poster with Espeon and Umbreon on it. It's got evolving skies on the back. That uh, tall skyscraper thing. That's cool. Huh. And she... Is there something in here? Uh, we shall see. I've got it open. And there is some stuff in here. Oh, that was nice. If to include some, some, some stuff. Oh. Uh, it's uh, the Elite Trainers Boxes Player Guide. Yeah, again, my words mixed up here. So, uh, I'll have a sneak peek of uh, what's in here before I open my ETB, shall we? <laughs> Um, look, Shining Magic Carp. I really want, one of the cards that I really want though is that guy. Professor, oh, Professor's Research. Full art. I wish I could pull that one. Fingers crossed. Shining me would be cool, just because it's shiny and gold. Rocket's Ad, that would be cool to pull too. You go well with my Team Rocket cards. Of course, the, uh, the Pikachus of various uh, height <laughs> and width. Yeah, I find it's amusing that it's uh, in a storyboard that is technically Cosmo just crying out there. Then there's Cosmo just sleeping after it's cried its eyes out. Then Lunala when it's grown up. Anyway, yeah, that's all basically. I really pay attention to these. I don't really pay attention to the, to the first pages. Ooh, a Pikachu V. Promo. Well, I mean, it says promo on the back. Vivid Voltage. Cool. It'd be better if they packaged this with uh, this bit on the other side of the card. Like if they had the card there. In there. I mean, like, that'd be, you know, smart thing to do if they packaged it right. That's so cool. To be honest, I don't think I really remember opening a vivid voltage. I can't remember if I did or not. But here's a promo with a proper Black Star promo on it. Another PUTV. So cute. So I'll put these in my jumbo card collection. I don't know if I should open this or not because this this is really annoying. So, it's just really on my nerves. I mean, I could just open it and put it back in, but doesn't it just look annoying? I mean, you can't really tell from far away, but still, you know. Anyway, so I think that was it. Yeah. So yay! I, I can... I can cut this out into my Pokemon scrapbook section. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh! On the inside, it just has a train on one side and the, uh... Pikachu in color. Same basically, just a tiny bit bigger, maybe more standout ish because it's on black. Yeah, that's cool. <coughs> Excuse 
So thank you so much for adding all that extra stuff. I, mean, I wasn't expecting anything extra. Awesome. Thank you so much. I do very appreciate it because that's just awesome. I can't remember how you said you got this now. But if you ever get any spares, if uh, they had other posters, to hit me up. And that is pretty. Neat. Thank you. 